Hey everybody, it's Lucky Jack 20. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. And yep, today is the day, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody, and happy holidays to everyone else. Yep, that's it. And to celebrate, I'm gonna do my first ever 20-minute part of Banjo Tooie. Because what better way to celebrate Christmas with a 20-minute part of Banjo Tooie? Anyway, I'm finally gonna use these split-up pads here. So you just press A on the banjo pad, and there we go. If you listen quite closely, you can just hear pretty much every single kid at this time, probably around, I'd say, the early 2000s, every kid's mind who played Banjo-Kazooie's brain slightly exploding from seeing this awesomeness. But now you can have them split up and doing their own separate little tasks and everything to save the day. Anyway, enough with that cliche corny crap. Or corny stuff. Oh boy, that's not Jinjo. I'm a Minjo. Hmm. And now we're gonna get a new move from Gem Jars. <clears throat> Banjo's got now got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Just press B and round it swings. <clears throat> Bumps and bruises to Betty it brings. That'll be all. Dismissed. <clears throat> you saw nothing. Here. That's just fantastic what happens there. Okay, getting away from you. Except that if you press B, you can swing his backpack. And if and a lot of veterans, I guess, know there's a technique where if you jump and swing his pack and jump again, you can actually do a little double jump with Banjo. May use that every now and then. It will come in handy. All right, now is Kazooie. Now remember, you can only fire eggs in Kazooie. Banjo can do that. So, uh, hang on. There we go. Fire grenade egg at this uh, grating to the pump room, and now we're gonna head on in. Come on, on the barrel, and we get an empty honeycomb too. But I'm not gonna get it quite yet. And of course, I'm talking because I completely did that by accident anyway. Now these little sparkly clouds here work just like the split up pads. If you press A while on the sparkly cloud, you can switch back to the other person. You can only do it at the pads or those little sparkly clouds. Take this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And I'm gonna get the honeycomb now because I kind of almost passed this. Cause we. All right, here we are. Now I'm just gonna him to the cloud. And press A. And instantly the Pump Master Two. Don't know why it's Pump Master Two. Starts working, and on the outside you can see that it's starting to inflate the big old bounce house. So there it is. Inside lies some mini games for us to do, and a shock screen pad so we can get on top of it. Which will be important a little bit later. Now, first thing you're gonna do, let's just pair back up as Banjo Kazooie, get the team back together again. Hmm. Ah, oh, look at that. Some face of barrel roll in there. Shoot. I can't jump up. Shoot, it's because I'm on the sign, not the edge. You know what? There's just some feathers and a sign up there that doesn't really... It, it's probably just... The, the sign's just explaining that you have to use the split pads to use it. So, I might as well show you guys the first little mini game there is here. You're going to run around this side. Here we go. And inside the bounce house, there are two doors, actually. One that'll have Banjo and Kazooie, and one that just has Kazooie. So, let's go in the open door first. And inside is a flying minigame. Welcome to the Balloon Burst Challenge. You have 60 seconds in which to score 50 points. You want to hear the rules? No, it's pretty simple. You're going to shoot them with gold eggs. Thank goodness they give you gold eggs for this. So basically just hold Z down and use your aerial shooting ability and just go to town. And the thing is with all these carnival minigames and other ones coming later in the game, Red is one point, green is two points, and blue is red points. Always, no matter what, in these minigames, that's the color coordination of points. Now the technique in this one just kind of, you want to stay near the top of the bounce house and just kind of just spin around, not too fast, just kind of do what I'm doing where I'm just kind of changing my view every now and then just to see what I can find. Just keep that up and you should have it in no time. Don't like go out of your way, and a little trick, don't always go out of your way to get the blue ones. Kind of try and go for more of the green ones. But, um, but I mean, if the blue ones there, I mean, go for it. Don't, 
just like don't don't go searching for a blue one because you're obviously just gonna be wasting time at that point. And uh, there you go. Not no not a problem. We scored enough points. Yeah, we did. And there's our jiggy. Wanna play again? Heck no. I'm I'm done with this game. Speeding up, cause I don't want to waste time. Now we're gonna split up into Kazooie now. Just again, there we go, running around. Chip, by the time you guys are watching this, we've already opened presents on mine. Gonna have a nice dinner and everything. Hopefully, with either the Christmas money I have or with the. Or I'll be getting little gifts and I'll be able to do more Let's Plays. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to finally have the tools I need to make Kingdom Hearts Let's Plays a lot easier for me. So now in this one, you're jumping through rings. Get those speedy shoes. They're definitely going to help you. And the good thing is they last the entire match. Once again, um, don't try and go out of your way for the blue rings. But if they're in your path, I wouldn't... I mean, why, why skip them? Now this one, going from red to blue, the rings get smaller. So that's pretty much what it is. I, once again, I kind of like try and run around in a big circle, not like going back and forth. There. Hmm. I'm to think. Ah, I really want. I, I like to show this one particular mini game. It's gonna be really fun, but I don't think I have enough time. Which is gonna be sad because that's a really cool one. It's gonna be sad, but um, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, I've decided this is definitely going to be my side let's play, so I'm going to be doing... So this is, I guess, uh, I was talking about how I was going to do it, like, one part of this, one part of Kingdom Hearts, but I think this is now going to be my, uh, side let's play. I can call it that. Cool. No, you can't have scored enough! But we did. So there's our two jiggies, and this western place is pretty much done now. Do you want to play again? No. Let's go, Kazooie. Yeah, anyway. Do to do, do, run away. Hey, you know what? Ninjo, you've been a pain in my behind for too long. Now, I need some more kick. There we go. Kaboom! Up, up, jump up. Well, no, here we go. So, I hope that you all have a great Christmas nowadays. Don't know why I said nowadays, it just kind of fit. Alright. Ah, sorry, I had to crack my knuckles there for a sec. Anyway. Sometimes you just get that feeling that you just have to. Anyway. I'm just talking about any random thing. Now, when you leave, you can cl you'll see this, like, ladder-looking thing. We'll climb up it to the top of this tower, and... And every single theme park has to be some sort of sky bucket or gondola ride. Well, this is basically it. Problem is, it's a little busted. It stopped halfway through the track. So what you're going to have to do... Get the camera just right. I, uh, here we go, I'm going for it. Just run across the rope. Better to jump across it than whisk it in. Well, you don't have to grab it. Just step on the red button and it'll bring you back to the western area. We'll be using this later. It's so basically a little gondola that goes between the Western world and the space world. I'm gonna head back over to Humble Wumbles now, and it's time we finally use our transformation here. Hup. All right, there we go. All right, and the Globo is right there, can be just placed there conveniently inside her house. Why she needs us to go and collect it when all she had to do was just to prepare for us ahead of time, you know, maybe, maybe just set up, get up out of the chair and pick it up for us, but anyway, throw the Globo in. That's you ready. Yes, we've already seen this conversation before. So what are we changing to now? Well, in which you will, we turn into a giant armored van. One more called this van. That and carries much coins. Use control stick to move press B for horn. Yep, this thing is pretty much invincible. Well, it would be cool if you could go around the entire game like this, but sadly, can't really jump or fly that well. But now there's also there's a lot of fun there's a lot of fun things you can do here, but really I'm just gonna do the important things you can do with the van. 
there'll be time for actually fooling around in a game later. Take this! Uh, anyway, so yeah, you can just run over all your enemies now. Over here in, in the Area 51 area, all these doors have a horn over them. Oh, sorry, a truck on them. Or van, blah. Every door there's a van, it honk your horn, and it'll open for you. Besides so another Jinjo, we're just gonna ride over to the... Past the slot machine enemy, jump up here. I really want those gold feathers, there we go. Okay, now what else this van can do is, Mumbo said that it had a lot of money in it, which you can also see from the money sign. You can also buy, like, pay for entry to these uh, rides, like the Inferno here. Open up, drop a coin, and now both the van and Banjo and Kazooie can go into the Inferno. That's pretty much how it works. What's inside, you may ask? I'm gonna show you. Oh, come on. Open your mouth again. Thank you. Now then. On the inside is a huge lava filled room. But luckily, vans obviously aren't affected by lava, don't you know? Get out of here. On the door and in here you'll find a Cheeto page. Now I'm gonna jump across the lava. Oh boy. Lobo. Out of here. And that's pretty much all you can do. Just activate the warp pad and, uh... Gonna head back to Wumba so we can transform back to Banjo-Kazooie. Hmm, there's gotta be something else to talk about. Um... It's kind of weird. I'll once again admit, I, I record these usually ahead of time, so... Can't really say exactly what I've gotten yet. Banjo-Kazooie, the Mumbo Hut is actually here in the Inferno. Looks all demon-like. Now be careful when you go in here because uh, at the bottom of this Mumbo's Hut, there is an, there is an empty honeycomb, but also an enemy, so just keep that in mind. Hmm, one more, and we'll have enough for a new, new life extension. That'll be cool. Alright, Mumbo. Uh, you do know there is a enemy of... Uh, an ally of the witch and your mortal one of your mortal enemies right downstairs, you know, if you ever want to... To take care of it. Uh, uh, sure, I, I guess I'll give you the, the globo. The, the, there you go. Could have sped that up, but nah, I'm alright. Uh, okay, okay, good. You're, you're gonna go down, you're gonna take care of the uh, enemy, right? You're, you're not just gonna leave me in here with, with the enemy, right? Right? Okay, sorry, that was just a little joke part. Anyway, now then, we have a lot to do with Mumbo in this world. First place, Space Zone, go! Waiting, waiting... Okay. Now, the spell of this place is really useful for getting all these rides. Is that you? Mm. Hope this works. It's power. And on the, now, the way he powers up just always kind of looks cool to me. You could hold a generator to it, but nah, we say... Nature is our generator. Anyway, I'm saying that a lot right now. So there you go. Now the Dodgem Dome's activated. Doors open, no. Hmm. Well... That's a nice efficient way to get power. Don't waste money on a power build. Just ask a nice kindly shaman. Just ask your neighborly kind shaman to come in and just call a giant lightning bolt to zap your generator and just pray to and just hope that it does not explode. That's how we do it down here. Anyway. Now here in the star spinner there's another generator. Power it up again. Hmm. What to talk about?
Now tomorrow's Kingdom Hearts may be a little late. It could be. Can't really say at the moment. But it's because I'm working on the way that's going to make it so much easier and fix all that controller lag that I was talking about. And it will hopefully fix everything. If not, at least it'll make it a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. If anything, it'll do that. So now the Star Spear is up all and working. Hmm. Right, where's the door? Whoa, is that a polar, little polar bear child? Foreshadow? Well, we won't be work. We won't be dealing with those kids for a long time, actually. Not for a while. So, I guess enjoy while it lasts. Now. We're pretty much done the space world, but there is one more thing that needs power in. Go to the entrance of the place. And hang on, where are we? There we go. Now, we're gonna go back into Area 51, because this runway has no lights. We need this runway to have lights. So, we're gonna power up the runway. Yeah, we know, I hope it works. Now, I, I'll just point out now, it's so nice of of our mortal enemies to, even though we're all trying to kill each other, whenever he do, whenever Mumbo does his little happy shaman dance, I find it very nice and respectable of the enemies to, even when they're chasing you down to kill you, the minute you start doing dance, they'll just quickly, all right, I'll, I'll wait till you're done. Don't take too long now, and they'll just walk away. It's just so nice of them. Anyway, now the saucer apparel is almost completed. And if you don't know, and if you don't know what that is, you're gonna have to probably wait till the next part to see it. But it is a fun, fun game. Slightly difficult, but hey, that's what makes games fun sometimes. Just the challenge. Uh, where's the warp pad? There it is. Oh, I can't wait to finally say this again. Magic teleport. Ah, it feels so good to say that again. I haven't said that for a while now. <laughs> Oh, oh god, thank goodness that the enemy did not think to look upstairs to find their dire, their horrible enemy. Thank goodness. Uh, that is a relief that he did not think to look upstairs. For that, we thank him. Now, we're gonna change into the van one more time. We're gonna get the last couple things we can as the van. Nah, I'm just kidding. We can still get. To, we, we're still gonna be able to use the van. But I'm. Pro but it's probably gonna be the last time I do it for this part. Going to the Dodgem Dome because even if you went in as Banjo Kazooie, it's another one of those rides that says you have to pay to use it. So to the left of the doorway here. There we go. Come on, there we go. Prepare to enter the Bone Daring Dodgem Challenge. There you go. So now we can go in, and it's gonna be it's another one of those three time challenges like with the dodgeball tournament, but actually not as difficult, I think. Now to the left now on the opposite side is a van door. Open it and you'll find the treble cleft note of this place. Now we're gonna warp back and we're gonna transform again. It's really hard to keep this interesting when you're doing the same thing like this over and over and over again. Anyway. Well. Now we can finally... Wait. I don't want to go yet. We can finally use this gondola system for something. And then I may have to end the, the video after this because it's a little... I'm consuming. So yeah, just press B when you're on this whole platform here, and away we go. Across the witchy world. Huh, I see a Jinjo down there. More, probably more on that later. Whoa, sorry, I just realized, but is it just me or our platform like changed to a little metal thing? Like Space Age, that's kind of cool actually. Anyway. Flip up here, and there's an, our. Oh, I think it's the last empty honeycomb of this place, actually. 
And now we have enough to get a new life extension. Okay, um, get up here. Get up here. Oh, shoot, no, I haven't activated yet. Um, yeah, we gotta climb back up here. Jump, line myself up right. There we go. Now, on this pole, be careful these electric, and wow, it's kind of weird, but when I look at that, I get, like, deja vu, like, memories of Electman stages in Mega Man. <sighs> and then it just makes me immediately try and block out those bad memories. Now, we're done here. Hit this switch, and now we can get up here any way we want. We don't have to go through those scary, scary Electman wires anymore. I finally hit this red switch, and it's time to finally bring two clothes. We'll beat Barger, there we go. It opens this door, and now we can finally see what that thing in that crate was back at Glitter Gulch Mine and see what it is. And you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep all this in. Actually, I'm going to have to cut to when I do this game in the next part. So, whoa, that is the saucer pill, folks. You know what? I'm Monkey Jack 20 doing the Let's Play of Banjo Tooie, saying Merry Christmas to all you guys and Happy Holidays to everyone else. Hope you guys have a good one. In the next part, we're going to do some, this game and a lot of other fun games in which you will see ya.